heavy is this? It's about 95 pounds. Oh, here's my horn. This is cool though. Check this out. If I would do an alarm. Now, if it wiggles around. Ah. So if someone tries to steal it, you're set. <laughs> yep, I'm not too far away. Your, your bike alarm. And uh, there we go. So I'm on the lowest gear here. You can see how I'm pedaling here. This can really go up a hill pretty easily. It is a way that a person can make a living and still poke around the country. And have your home on your back. Exactly. So this is the nighttime mode. What if you want to sit back and relax? So your seat back is more reclined. You got a pretty comfy place to hang out. <laughs> so in this position you can read, do something on a laptop. Now let's put it in sleeping mode. Now you got your bed set up. I think I'm going to sleep with the door open tonight. Doesn't look like it's going to rain at all. I always thought that you could take out the weight of a bicycle or a tricycle while towing your camper and just combine the two together. Why not? It's the Nomad Pedal RV. Good night. can tell this is not a fast rig. <laughs> One guy drives by, he goes, hey, turtle man. <laughs> I'm like, turtle man? But it made sense. Because you're slow and you look like a turtle. Right, and I got my home right there. Got my shell around me, so. There's two people that have towed my Nomad camper across country, like thousands of miles, which blows me away, but it can be done. Have you seen some of the folks there, some of the Germans that are running around in their bike campers? It's getting quite big. They'll get like 40 campers together, bicycle campers, all of their own design. It's really turned into a thing. I've seen a few of my designs out there. And then, you know, they'll take the basic concept of the arc and then create their own frame, their own solar panels. Just everything is just theirs. Morgan. <laughs> So this is becoming more of a thing? It really is. It's, it's really populating over there because you think Germany, Netherlands, Holland, places like that, it's very flat. And they're also, the guys are kind of semi-engineers because what they're building is really impressive. And most of them have some kind of a solar pedal assist. Incredible engineering. That's kind of exactly what I was hoping they would do too. So you wanted this to, you're, you've been helping kickstart a movement in a way. Yes. And now I'm trying to kickstart another one. What's that? This. Oh, because the others are more the pull. Whereas this is uh, all in one. See ya. Kirsten, this goes back 30 years ago. My original idea, not a, so much a bicycle camper, but why don't you just enclose yourself with some of the weight that you're carrying? So everything contained like a pedal RV. So I'll show you in kitchen mode. So this guy is actually my kitchen table. This is the leg. It's my kitchen supplies. This yeah. works good. This is a chafing dish. I drilled three holes in it. Now I can fill this guy up. Looks pretty good. I'm in here I've got also a cooler that I fabricated just using some foam. 
It was constructed using these little guys. Put a little point to them, stuck them in at odd angles to keep it together, and then I used duct tape to just tape it all nice and tight. And then I made this little guy here, just one of those little windshield covers, right? Dollar and a quarter, taped it together, and then I got a nice reflective interior. And I threw some of this silver taping. There you go. It'll hold a small cup of ice. It'll hold things cold for about two days. This has been in there since yesterday, probably about 20 hours ago. Still a little frozen. Hated cheese. It's a slow burner, but I was able to cook breakfast on it in about 12 minutes or whatever. That looks about done to me. This is again, you know me, I'm a prototype guy. I just bring out things that I'd normally use. So I try to keep my cooking supplies as light as possible. I think I got everything, including the stove, down to a pound and a half. I made this guy for a way to hold the pan and also as a windshield for the flame. What is it made of? It's just a can, tin can with holes for ventilation. Uh -huh. Works okay. So I'm still refining things as I go though, Christian is what I'm saying. So that's the kitchen. Super simple table. I mean, it's one of the lightest possible. It's like the ultra light camper. You can't get much lighter than this. You can't. And the bed? The bed. I'd love to see how you fit in here. Oh, yeah. So you fit, I mean. Oh yeah, I've got, I'm not touching on my head. I got four inches here, three inches down there. So it'll fit a. How tall are you? Not even six foot but this will probably fit a six foot three person. Width wise, you know, it is a little tight. It's just right for me. Yeah. So your feet go like just to the edge. Yeah, you made it your size. As I always do. <laughs> what is this? It's a pedal car. All the zip ties. So it's a zip tie vehicle. Yes, this is kind of like how I build things. <laughs> But it's, it's kind of like two independent recumbent bikes and then it's welded to an I-beam. So how gears on both, are they synchronized somehow? No. no. No, one can relax and the other can pedal. The uh, original, okay, the Moshe, this is based off of a 1930s pedal car that France came up with while Hitler was occupying France. They took all the fuel, all the oil. Yeah. So they had to find a way to get around and Moshe decided to come up with this guy so here you are you're always just sort of reworking designs with your materials right right this is 100 pounds that's important if you're gonna have a bike car you need it to be really light right right some of the rigs that i've made there's my first one that i ever made a burning man nomad camper or the bug out bicycle camper the bicycle campers weren't exactly the original thought that i had my original inspiration came after reading an article by Steve Roberts. He's talking about the ascension of a mountain pass in California during a downpour. He's writing how miserable and wet he was, and I thought, dude, if borrowing some of the 220 pounds off of your rig to create a shelter, that would have solved your problem. I spent many hours playing around with this idea years back, but like a lot of my ideas, they just get pushed aside and just turned out to be picture drawings. So I decided it was time to make my own version. It's a very simple design, very traditional sitting position for a Delta trike. Now you tell me. <laughs> no breaks, huh? <laughs> the base I took these off of some old bikes that I had laying around, as usual. The handlebars, pedals, and even the steering bar and below the bed platforms. So I don't have to move anything around when it comes time to lay out the bed, other than just lay down the bed. Quite a few iterations, and not exactly what I want but this is just a prototype. Let's take and shape. All right, now I'm gonna cut this for my door. 
it does make sense that before you're carrying extra weight, right? The camper wheels plus the bike wheels. This is just going to be all together. This is all together. So here's the steering that steers the little 16 inch front wheel. The whole idea was that I wanted the steering and the pedal to be below the bed platform. Okay. So all I had to do is shift around the uh, platforms and I can get whatever position I want. Lounging, pedaling, or a bed. And now you got a nice lounge chair, right? <sighs> For watching your videos or just chilling out. Another thing that I did on this table is create a little cable to stop it. And then if I want to adjust it, bring it down if I want to do some drawings or whatever, laptop. So here you can see, and you still fit, right? Because your feet are always in the same spot, yeah. Right, right. Here you yeah. go. Yeah. Took a lot of designing on this thing. Did it? it did. Because? You want to not have a tall vehicle, so I got it down as far as I could. So the crank was below the platform, but so my heels didn't hit the grit. On and on and on. And the balance? Not too bad, because most of your weight is down here, your luggage. I created these simple little shelves just using coroplast and zip ties. On the past, you've seen me do luggage up above. On this, because it was so tall and narrow and such a narrow wheelbase, I wanted to get all the weight real low. Okay, the original design was to make it similar to my Nomad Bike Camper, where it was going to be round. I've had a lot of guys purchase my plans, go on big tours with even the round camper and still get blown off the road somewhat. So when I started deciding to go square, I was like, ah, I gotta minimize the side force as much as possible. So let's bring this down. Uh, but now we got a nice table here. And you know, we got a little shade or if it's raining, you, you cook outside and you know, do whatever, laptop, working on your- Standing desk. Standing desk, yeah. And then this, this is kind of my electronic center. And so I can plug my phone in here. Each one of these headlights here is also powered through USB. So I got to turn them on first. Ah, uh, here, here. There you go. I'll show you the big, huge solar panel on top. So this is a camping type thing. It just folds up like this. So people put it on their backpack or something. To right. Okay. It's all I need really to charge the little things that I've got. I don't need a huge thing. Yeah. And I don't have any solar power assist to get this thing going. It's all pedals through choice. So you could make a solar vehicle. Because it's so light, you could get enough to assist by just the sun. Sure. If you had a panel this big and another one that's flexible this big and one back there, it would help you out. So here we got a um, shower. So, you know, a camping shower thing. And on this, You'll notice that I tried to repurpose a lot of things. This is a bed sheet, so I can sleep in it if I want to, right? But it also could be used for a shower area or a um, little bathroom area. I wanted to be able to sleep in it if I wanted to. Yeah. Okay. So now you're, you feel protected in here. Now you're protected. You got two windows back here that open up. Uh -huh. So there's a little ventilation. <laughs> Fill your shower bag up. Now you have an area to use the bathroom or to shower. Heat it up. Pretty simple. It's like the sidecar space, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's also the transformation is fast. That's why I like the snaps. It didn't take long at all. And it fits right in here. It's got a little home there. <laughs> I don't have it geared quite right. This is more just to see what the body configuration would be like and see if it could accommodate me and my needs. Well, I'm pretty happy now. I got my fan going. I got plugged right into the port there. So your thought is somebody could really just take this to the side of the road even and sleep? You could stop at a rest stop, whatever. I don't think they would get on you too much. Yeah. I don't know if people would know what you are. I mean, 
your bike parked somewhere. You're not a camper that you're gonna, gonna get in trouble, you know? I know, it'd be a lot of looking or... and curious questions. I don't know if does that work. Okay, I'll leave this alone, put this here. It's a Tetris puzzle. <laughs> Let's see. There's a lot of modes. I mean, there's the lounge and then there's the working and there's the driving and then there's also sort of the working on it mode, right? Like when you get it opened up and... Exactly. Or storing things mode, because you're storing stuff underneath. Right. Yeah. I had a mode. I had this a mode once. Oh. Cool. Kind of just yeah, more tough. comfortable. I love it. You're like parked by the side of the road and you're... Because, right, if you're biking for a while, you're going to need this. You're going to need to sit in the shade. Exactly. <sighs> and now you can just relax. This is your rest stop. Yeah, the fans. Whew. This is just an idea. It's very square, not very aerodynamic, obviously. Uh, Usually not what I would go for, but the whole premise around this is that I wanted this little cube for hanging out in. Feels good. Do you think you're gonna ever stop making things? You know, I mean, you're saying you're 62? 64. 64. Yeah, I'll go until I can't go very much longer, right? Until health kicks in or until Mary can't handle it anymore. Okay, can I have a heart attack now? <laughs> Next call! What? Bye! See you soon! <laughs>